Resolving a force is the process of splitting the force into two perpendicular components. Remember that forces are vectors with magnitude and direction. So as an example, let's look at the tension in a pendulum spring. TV and TH are the resolved components of the tension. We can resolve components in any direction, but perpendicular directions are most useful. The original force will then be the resultant of these components. So T is a resultant of TV and TH. So these components combine to have an effect equal to the tension. But how exactly can we resolve forces into components? A force can be resolved using a scale vector diagram. A scale vector diagram shows the force vector arrows with lengths proportional to their magnitude. We can draw the components on the scale vector diagram by making it into a right-angled triangle with the original force. This shows the original force is a resultant of the components as they have the same start and end point in the diagram. The lengths give the magnitudes of the components and we can compare the lengths to the scale to get the original force. You don't need to know the mathematical methods of resolving forces for your GCSE exams, but let's have a look at an example. The vector arrow below represents the driving force of a plane as it takes off. The force has a magnitude of 60 kilonewtons and acts at a 30 degree angle to the ground. Calculate the magnitudes of the horizontal and vertical components of this driving force. So for step one, we want to measure the given vector arrow to determine the scale used. So when there are 0.75 centimeters between the dots, the vector arrow is measured to be 6 centimetres. Therefore, 1 centimetre is equal to 10 kilonewtons. For step 2, we want to draw in the horizontal and vertical forces. Then for step 3, we need to measure the lengths of these forces. The vertical component is measured to be 3 centimetres and the horizontal 5.2 centimetres. For step four, we need to use the scale to determine the magnitude of these forces. The three centimeter vector is equal to 30 kilonewtons and the 5.2 centimeter arrow is equal to 52 kilonewtons. But what's so useful about resolving forces? Well, resolving forces is useful for comparing forces on a free body diagram. Remember that a free body diagram shows all the forces acting on an object. So in this example, we can resolve the diagonal force. This makes comparing forces much easier as we can separate horizontal and vertical forces and therefore compare separate directions. Free body diagram exam questions usually won't require resolving forces, or you might be asked to resolve and compare forces in separate questions. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.